getting good at math is easy, right? You, you just like, I, I mentioned it, like it's easy to get good at math. You do the work, you ask questions and you like reflect on your learning process. Like that's it. There's nothing else to do, but what's the problem with something being easy? What's something with, what's the problem with something being easy to do? Like you do all the work that basically whatever your teacher assigns, you're doing it right. Or maybe even doing more, right? You're asking questions when you don't understand something, you're asking questions or getting your answer questions answered. That is easy to do. You know, you get a tutor, get some friends, whatever else that is easy to do, right? Reflecting on your learning. You're literally just making sure that you're understanding the stuff, what you don't understand. You're reflecting on it. You're learning from your mistakes. Um, you know, and you're, and you're reviewing your spiral reviewing, like all of that stuff. It's easy to do. And what's the problem with something that's easy to do is it's easy not to do it. And that is the, like, that's the main thing. Like that's, you know, I, I, you can't show me a student that is that does all that work and says that I'm still struggling with math. Like I'm still not understanding it. It, it you can't show me that that person. So that's the thing. It's, you know, I, you're looking for an answer that is, is, um, is something like that's outside of there. It's like, well, show me that you're doing all those three things and, and you're still not getting better at math. Right. And if you can show me all of those three things, you're still not getting better at math then I will have to revise everything that I am telling everybody every single week as far as how to get good at math. Um, and, and again, I'm like, I'm not saying that just because you're doing the work or just because you're asking questions or getting help or reflecting on your learning, you're going to get A's and stuff like math is hard, right? It's a struggle. You know, you're not always going to get A's in everything. And again, like you have a football thing, like everybody can be really, really good football players. It doesn't mean you're going to get to the NFL. That doesn't mean you're going to get an A right? But that's what you're going to be doing to get better. And you can get better at football. Like, how do you get better at football? You're doing drills. You're going to practice, right? Like, how do you get good at throwing a football? How do you throw catching a football? What do you do? Catch the ball, catch the ball, catch the ball, right? It's not, it's not exciting. It's not fun. It's not non-cliche answers, but that's exactly what it is. It's, is it easy to go and practice catching a ball? Of course it is. Is it easy not to do it? Is it easy not to wake up and not do your homework, not to catch the ball every single week? Yes. You want to get better at football, you should be catching passes. If let's say you're a receiver, right? You should be running routes, catching passes every single day, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. And again, yeah, will a lot of people do that for the first couple of weeks at the beginning of the year? Of course they will. And then what happens once they start getting a little bored or they don't see success or they don't get picked to be on the first team, they're on JV or on the, they're on the second team or the practice squad. Are they still doing it? Most of them won't. Most of them will quit right? Are they going to the coach? Are they watching tape? Are they trying to reflect on their, on their, on their abilities, how they're getting better? Are they asking other people? Are they watching, you know, videos or getting help, like how they can get better? Mostly sometimes. And then they start to, you know, and then once they don't see results, they don't feel like they're getting better. They quit. It's the same thing in football. It's the same thing in life. It's the same thing in math, right? They're, the reason why you're asking for a non-cliche answer is you're looking for something else, but you're avoiding the main thing that you need to actually be doing. So, um, really look forward to hearing any girl, the response back from there, if that helped out at all. And if not, let me know and I'll respond back again.